Robert Barrientos says that not only is education important, but that you must also give back to your community. Robert has given back and paid it forward. Robert was born in 1953 in Sterling, Kansas to a single mother, Frances Barrientos. Frances's mother died in the late 1930s, so at the age of 15, Frances quit school to help her aunt and grandmother raise her 11 brothers and sisters. At the age of two, Robert went to live with his great-grandmother. He stayed with her until she died in 1963. When Robert started at North School in Lyons, Kansas in 1957, the school was still segregated with only black and Mexican children attending. Because Spanish was his first language, he was held back in first grade, as he had problems with English grammar and vocabulary. His aunt helped Robert with his language skills by reading to him every day, which fed his appetite for books. When he was eight, he responded to an ad in the back of a comic book and went to work for a company selling greeting cards. By age 10, the company promoted him to selling fireworks. By the time he was 15, he ran three fireworks stands, which gave him valuable lessons in finance and business. Throughout high school, he was a page for Senator Jansen in the Kansas legislature. He got a taste of national politics and worked to help pass the 26th Amendment that provided 18 to 20-year-olds the right to vote. He graduated from high school in 1972 and attended his first year of college at Hutchison Community Junior College. Robert then transferred to Newman University in Wichita. While at Newman, Robert started, organized, and implemented the first multi-state conference for Chicano and Latino students at the college. He graduated with honors in 1977 with a degree in history. In 1973, Robert wrote a grant and co-founded Service Education and Retraining Jobs for Progress, which provides employment and training services. SIR addressed the needs of Hispanics regarding unemployment and lack of job opportunities. Robert began his professional career in broadcasting in 1974, working for KAKE-TV in Wichita as an intern, reporter, and program producer. He eventually became the Director of Community Affairs for the station. While working on his master's degree at Wichita State University, which he completed in 1979, Robert hosted a daily radio talk show on an NPR affiliate. In 1980, he became the CEO and general manager of radio station KTEP-FM in El Paso. He completed the Harvard University Executive Management and Business Program in 1981. After moving to Kansas City, Robert was a member of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Greater Kansas City Board of Directors and the co-founder and first chairman of the Greater Kansas City Hispanic Collaborative. In 2004, Robert started the Kansas City BizFest, which is a four-day youth development entrepreneur workshop and scholarship competition for high school students. The majority of KC BizFest participants come from the Latino community. BizFest focuses on helping students turn hobbies and skills into profit-making ventures by establishing entrepreneurial and leadership goals, creating plans for business and life, and becoming effective leaders and team players. From 2004 through 2016, Robert, with the help of Dr. Gene Johnson, directed and developed Pathway to the Future, which assisted children of foreign-born parents. The program outcomes were remarkable, with 100% of program participants enrolling in college and with 68% of the students completing college within five years. Robert served in the Kansas City Mayor's New Tools Task Force and numerous boards and committees for the Kansas City School District. He was awarded the Community Hero Award by the Bank of America in 2005, recognizing him for his community involvement. In 2014, the University of Missouri Extension Vice Provost gave him their Diversity Award for his organizational partnership with their 4-H Youth Futures College with Reach program. The words energetic, creative, innovative, passionate, visionary, and entrepreneurial spirit have been used to describe Robert Barrientos. These attributes have been key throughout his life. He is a pioneer.